Gas Testing Procedure Issuing authority shall determine and record the gases to be measured and the frequency of repeating the test or the need for continuous monitoring. Minimum requirement shall be O2%, L% and H2S ppm once at the beginning of shift, work. The authorized gas tester, the issuing authority himself or his operator holding valid certification card, passport, shall carry out gas test. He shall ensure that his authorization is valid and the meter is in good condition, calibration valid and battery charged. Ventilation, blowers, shall be stopped, approximately 15 minutes in advance, prior to carry out gas test for the confined space. Initially, he shall test from outside the confined space, using a long probe. If the initial gas tests indicate a concentration above the permissible limits, further gas freeing shall be done until the gas concentration is within the permissible limits. The tester shall carry an escape mask while testing from outside of manway, if the presence of toxic vapor or gases is suspected. Test result shall be representative of the entire confined space. Hence the need may arise to enter for gas testing at different locations inside large tanks or towers and complex vessels based upon number of manways, toxic materials handled, size of the vessel, etc., for example reactors, to get a representative result. Operation Team Leader, Risk Assessment Team Leader shall decide at planning stage, the need for entering the confined space for gas testing and communicate this to the issuer. Gas testing of large or complex confined spaces, the operation supervisor slash shift controller shall issue a confined space entry authorization, describing in section 1b the gases to be measured to the authorized gas tester who will sign as executing authority and tick pre-entry gas test in section 4a and leave rest of the section 4a blank. In such cases authorized gas tester certification, certification can be card or passport is considered equivalent to executing authority certification. The atmosphere shall be treated as IDLH. Test results shall be entered on the entry authorization and checkbox ticked on the associated work permit. If there is a requirement of frequent monitoring, test results shall be entered in area field operator's logbook for record. Executing authority of actual work shall witness or satisfy himself. That actual gas test has been done before accepting the permit. Executor has the right to refuse the permit if proper gas test was not done, for example filling section 4A without testing. For critical entries, for example first entry to process vessels, inert entry, etc., executor shall accompany the gas tester up to the man way. Area Shift safety engineer shall witness gas test by operation staff prior to confined space first entry. Area, shift safety engineer shall cross-check and register gas test results in area safety engineer's logbook. In case of any violations, discrepancies, he shall log his observations in area safety engineer's logbook. At least 13% oxygen is required to obtain an accurate L reading from a combustible gas meter. Hence, these cannot give a proper reading in atmospheres such as a vessel purged with steam or nitrogen. Hence L and O2 shall be measured simultaneously in such situations. Where atmosphere within confined space is initially made safe, but there is a reason to believe that it may become unsafe during the period for which entry is authorized, or for example, from emission of gases, vapors from sludge or deposits contained in the space or welding fumes or inerting, continuous gas monitoring is required. A continuous monitor must be kept close to the work in progress and must be positioned so that the attendant sees and or hears any alarm. Spaces must be evaluated prior to re-entry after any break in continuous entry and satisfactory results obtained and recorded. Periodic monitoring must not exceed a two-hour period. Gas meters used for leaded gasoline shall be equipped with special filters to prevent damage to the sensor by lead, which may result in reading errors. Moisture-slash-dust filter and or liquid trap is required when measuring probe comes in contact with excessive moisture, dust and liquid. Gas test limits 
oxygen test shall be carried out first. Preferably the oxygen level quality of the air inside the confined space should be equal to that outside the space. The oxygen content of the air shall be in the range from 19.5% to 23.5% to work without an air mask. For inert entry, oxygen content shall be less than 5%. Flammable gas is measured as percent lol, percentage of lower explosive limit. For cold work without air mask reading shall be below 10% lol. Between 10 to 20% lol cold work is allowed with air mask. Above 20% lol, only inert entry is allowed. Temperature and humidity. Please give comment Temperature and, and humidity are related to each other and do not have fixed limits. Subscribe our YouTube channel Please and should hit not the bell create a hazard for, more for personnel at any time for during entry. Our channel. A work permit Please risk assessment class. must be undertaken bearing in mind the PPE to be worn, the nature of the work and the surrounding conditions.